okay so this is my delivery controller let me open this in this video we have to create one static side so let me make it full screen so when you will complete the installation part now then you will click on start you will get static studio console over there so just open the console for first time it will take a while to open the console let's wait for it who is creating that noise okay okay now it's not <laughs> Okay, so this is a first look of Citrix Studio, right? So once, right now there is nothing configured. What we did, we simply installed the core components like a director, license server, studio, right? And along with that, we have uh, installed database at itself as a Microsoft SQL 2019, right? Which will be used as a database. Now, what happened? Uh, Give me a minute, guys. I lost my connection to my hyperbike, sir. Guys, can you hear me? Yes, I can yes, hear you. Right. Okay, uh, there is something wrong happened. Just give me a minute. I need to check my bare metal hyperbike. Something went wrong. Just give me a minute, let me check. Sure. Uh, guys, can you hear me? Yes. Just give me. Actually, my UPS uh, went down due to some error. So my server yeah. shut down. Yeah, no, you can stop recording if you want to save the space. No, no, no. Uh, I just booted up my server again. So okay. it will take a while. Okay, I think it is up now. And now again, I have to start my virtual machines.
okay so let me launch the studio again Okay, so <laughs> when you launch the Citrix Studio for the first time after the installation, you will get three options over there. So first option is to uh, create a new site to deliver application and desktop to end user. Second one is for the physical machines, means if you are having any physical machine located in your office or at your home, you can publish those virtual or physical machines to your end users with the help of Citrix virtualization. And third one is for to scale up your deployment means if you are having any existing delivery controller which is running in your organization, so you can create one more delivery controller for load balancing and you can connect that delivery controller to the existing one, right? So in our case, we do not want to uh, see any uh, like scale up our deployment right now. We are not using any physical machine. We have to uh, create a site for our virtual machines, right? So I'm We'll go with the first option. So now it is asking for a site name, right? So site name, it could be anything, your office location, your home location, your area location, your country location. So in my case, I can make a site name like India. So if you are having multiple offices in India, like right? so in that case, what you can do, you can uh, names, uh, rename the site name as India hyphen, uh, like uh, Delhi or Mumbai or any other city, something like this, right? But right now I'm just making India only. Click on next. Now in Citrix, you will find three database. First one is for site. Second one is monitoring and third one is logging, right? So just forget about India. It is just my site name, right? So in Citrix, we are having three database. First database is site database and that database stores all the information related to the site means how site is configured, what options have been selected at the creation of the site and monitoring database. What it will, it will store, it will store the hardware utilizations of your virtual machines like which virtual machine is utilizing uh, how much capacity of your hardware so those kind of logs will be there and third one is logging logs means when you uh, whenever user uh, logging into the system whenever they log off like what uh, Citrix administrators are doing what operations they are performing what is the timeline uh, like they are logging so every user logging related logs will be stored in this database and coming to the location part so as you can see what we have done we have installed sql uh, server in this uh, local machine only right so that is the only region as you can see uh, sql 2019 is showing here so in our case our local host uh, <laughs> our local host with the sql server but if you have any separate sql server in your organization so what you have to do you have to replace the local host with the IP name or host name of that SQL server. And that is our default instance, uh, like SQL Express is a database uh, instance name. Simply click on next. So now it will create uh, the three database in SQL server. Okay, now as you can see the license server. So again, 
we have installed the license server on the local machine like on delivery controller itself so that is the only reason why it is showing local host but uh, if you have configured any separate server for a license server component so you can replace the local host with the ip name and the host name of that machine so by default you will get 30 days trial license from citrix for learning perspective but if you have any existing license so you can use this button and you will uh, be provided with uh, LIC file uh, by Citrix for license. So you can browse for that LIC file and whatever the location in your system, right? So right now we do not have any license. Also, if you have any license code, you can uh, enter the license code and you can allocate license. But we are good to have 30 days trial. Simply click on next. Now it is asking for the hypervisor connection, right? So in our case, we are having Citrix hypervisor, but Citrix products are compatible with the three hypervisors. First one is Citrix. Your second one will be hypervisor that is from Microsoft and uh, that is known as Hyper-V. Now they guys rename Hyper-V into System Center Virtual Machine Manager. And third hypervisor is VMware Workstation, not Workstation, VMware vSpec Client, okay? So you can use all the three hypervisors, which are uh, those hypervisors are the, you know, uh, like uh, top players in the virtualization. So it is compatible with all the three hypervisors. And if you do not have any hypervisor, you can use the last option, no machine management. So we will go with the Citrix hypervisor. Now let's provide the address of Citrix hypervisor. In my case is HTTP colon double slash, then IP address of your hypervisor. So it's 192.168.10.101. Now, default username for Linux machines, it is root. And now I'm entering the password for that root user. And connection name, you can enter like a gen server. Gen server hyphen zero one so that will be your connection name and here we are using like uh, citrix machine creation services and now storage management so in production you will find uh, some shared storage like your nas storage true nas or your iskg storage or any network storage you will find over there but uh, uh, that storage is very very costly so in our case, what we will do, we will use the local storage of hypervisor. So in production, why use the shared storage? The reason is that if your hypervisor goes down, in that case, all of the data of the users will be available at the shared storage, right? But if we use the local storage, like if my hypervisor goes powered off right now, each and every uh, virtual machine simply powered off and uh, uh, like my users will lose the any running data. But for learning, we are good with local uh, storage. But in production, you will find some network storage. Now, this is a selection like operating system. <laughs> we deploy on the local storage and use a temporary files as well on the local storage. Click on next. Now it is asking for the network name. So network name, it should be identical like gen for gen server, then n for the network. And it's my gen server 01 hypervisor. So I have given some identical name here. Like anyone can identify with that, like that particular network connection is uh, pointing to the gen server 01. Now, FB publishing uh, basically this feature is from FB servers from the Microsoft. So right now it is not required for you guys, it's for L3 <laughs> kind of roles. So in future, I will let you know how to uh, configure your uh, Citrix with the FB publishing. Now the, here is a summary, what we have selected. This is our database like uh, site monitoring and logging. This is our delivery controller, DDC-01. License server, it is on the local host. This is the IP address of our server, uh, sorry, hypervisor, Citrix hypervisor. 
and we have we have selected the machine creation services here and the virtual machine is on the local storage of the gen server click on finish now it will create a site for us in within a two or three minutes Okay, so now it is creating the database and multiple things are going on. If you want to check the database in your Linux machine, right? So what, how can you do? Uh, this is our SQL uh, Server Management Studio. I am installed in my uh, local machine. So let me disconnect this. And what I can do, I can connect it to let me try to search if it is searching the <coughs> okay not searching uh, i have installed sql in ddc iphone 01 let's see if it's it will connect or not Just give me a minute, guys. I'm getting one call. Hello? What are Okay, guys, so I think our site is almost ready where it is. Why oh, yeah, I'm getting black screen here. Guys, can you hear me? Yes. Okay, so as you can see, my screen is visible, right? Guys, can you see my screen? Yes, yes, we can see that. Okay, so this is our first site uh, for Citrix. It has been created, right? And now uh, we have only three minutes remaining in the, this call. So within two minutes, I am sharing new invite to you. And I will explain each and everything whatever the options available here okay in uh, five minutes okay so i'm terminating this call and i will i will be sharing new invite to you guys okay okay